Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the Legacy Paint app for many years didn't receive too much attention from Microsoft. And then suddenly, over the last year or so, Microsoft started pushing out new features and updates to the Paint app, like your dark mode, and some new tools, your different layers, and I'm still waiting for the AR creation to make its way into my region hasn't rolled out yet but nonetheless just to let you know about um, a couple of extra features that we will be seeing roll out with windows 11 version 24h2 because with the latest update to the paint app over in the canary and dev channels which is been bumped up to version 11.2402.20.0 microsoft now has added a new brush size slider yet to the left um, in the Paint app and a new tile in the Layers panel. So in the Layers panel to the right, there's a new tile for background customizations that you can actually change the colors with. Now this has been spotted once again by Phantom of Earth over on X. And if we just head over to a GIF provided, yeah, we can see some interesting new additions. So yeah, as mentioned, to the left, there you can see uh, the new brush size slider on the left, which I think is a nice handy addition. So you can really get that brush going and it's quite large, but I think that's a nice move. Just giving you the ability to do some light editing and photo touch-ups and work. And then yeah, to the right hand side, there's the layers panel update with a new tile that lets you customize the background. You can change the color, hide it and so on. And that's part of the layers section, which I actually find very useful. I use that section basically on a day-to-day -day basis. So that, as mentioned, is available in the Canary and Dev channels with the latest version 11.2402.20.0. And because that's in the Canary and Dev channel at the moment for the Paint app, uh, there's a good chance that this could be a feature that will roll out as an app update with the up-and-coming Windows 11 24H2 feature update that we are expecting to see start rolling out uh, as soon as September, October, a little bit later this year. But um, if I get more any info regarding this, obviously I'll keep you guys posted and in the loop. But I think this is a nice, interesting addition. I think um, that this just brings a bit more functionality to the Paint app, which I feel over the last couple of months has received um, a nice bunch and handful of features which make using it for light editing work and you know, it's kind of light photoshopping a lot more useful and a lot more handy. And I think those two new additions will also bring something new to the table. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.